It's maple syrup season here in Ohio, and one of the most important parts about maple syrup season is trying to find the right sugar maple tree. The bark of the sugar maple is slightly different than the bark of red or silver maple. Generally, sugar maple is much smoother. Sometimes you get some ridges and furrows, and usually they start to curl out slightly. The bark on a red or silver maple is, can be somewhat strippy and a little bit platy and usually a little more raised than it is on the sugar maple. A helpful way to identify maple trees when they don't have their leaves is to look at the branches. The maple always have their branches coming off opposite from one another. And here you can see where there's a branch and a place where the branch has actually been broken off. So there's a leaf scar and a place where the next um, leaf will emerge from. You can also see that at the tips of each branch, there are three small pointy buds. So that's another helpful thing to look for. Utilizing these few tips will help you identify sugar maples on your property. And now, here's naturalist Amanda Dalton with more information on maple sugaring. Here at Houston Woods State Park, we are tapping the maple trees inside of our nature preserve area. Uh, this is the largest uncut beech maple forest in Ohio. That means these trees in this area have never been cut down. And so it's a very special area. We have some very old trees here. Um, this is an example of a young beech tree. They keep their leaves on throughout the winter. And this was important to the settlers of the time. They, they could stuff their mattresses with these dry leaves or even use them to help uh, start fires. And behind me is one of our maple trees, one of our sugar maple trees. The maple syrup season, we call it, it's a short but sweet season. It only lasts about four to six weeks of the year. And that's because during this cold temperature time, there's not any bacteria or fungus that's gonna get inside the tree and hurt the tree or the sap. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. Okay, to tap a maple tree, we're going to start by drilling a small hole, not very far into the tree, just about, um, about an inch and a half and we're gonna use a 7 16th inch bit and we're just gonna create a small hole in order to start the spile. And the spile is basically the spigot that the sap runs into. Okay, what we're not gonna do is blow any of these shavings out from the hole. We're gonna leave them just the way they are and the sap is already starting to drizzle out of the tree. And then we're gonna take our spile, which is this little device here that holds the bucket and allows the sap to flow out. We're going to, this is where the, where they, the, the saying tapping your trees comes in. So we're just going to gently Tap this in. And in just a day or two, the tree will actually start to, to grow and grip that spile so it'll be nice and tight so you can actually hang uh, the bucket from it and it won't fall out. But you can actually see that the sap is already flowing out of the tree. Maple syrup production has been a long-standing history here at Houston Woods State Park. And to honor that tradition, we have an annual maple syrup festival each year here in our nature preserve. We welcome the public to come out and tour our big woods, see the different stages of maple syrup production, and then finally go inside of our sugar shack where you can see the sap being boiled down into into maple syrup and we also give you a free sample. If you would like to find out more about other maple syrup uh, events happening throughout the state, you can visit us online at ohiodnr.gov.